Let's take a look at scrutiny for Mac. Perform a basic scan of your website, take a look at the link check results, and some of the settings. First of all, click the New button to add your site. This allows Scrutiny to store settings for your site and eventually manage settings for as many sites as you like. Give it a name and type or paste your starting URL, usually the home page of your site. A thumbnail should appear after a second. Let's go with the default settings initially and come back to look at a few of these things later. The time this takes will depend on the size of your site. This is a broad list of tasks that Scrutiny can perform. This first view lists your link test results by link URL. To take one extreme example, it's likely that every one of your pages has a link back to the home page, so you're likely to see many occurrences of this link. Use the disclosure triangle to see those occurrences, each with the URL of the page it appears on and its link text. A double click opens the link inspector where you can see more information about the link. You can visit the target of the link or any of the pages it appears on. Those options conveniently appear in a context menu, which you can pop up with a right click or control click. The by page view shows the same information, but arranged the opposite way around. You'll see each of your pages, which you can expand to show the links on that page. Again, there are context menus and the same link inspector. The by status view shows the same information again, but grouped by server response code. The flat view expands all of this, so that each occurrence of each link is shown on a separate row. As with other views, you can sort by any of the columns. There are a few more ways to find the information you want. To see only the bad links, check the bad links only box. Choose from the filter drop down to see some specific types, such as links that were redirected or just internal or external links. If there's a specific link you're looking for, paste the URL or type part of it into the search box. At this point, Scrutiny is holding lots of data gathered during your scan. If you'd like to generate a sitemap or see your SEO results, for example, there's no need to scan again. Use the previous button to revisit the tasks screen and you'll see that many of the checks are now available without rescanning. Click the Go button to go straight there. Let's go back and take a look at some of those settings. When it scans, Scrutiny will be hitting your site with many simultaneous requests. Some servers will cope well with this. If so, you can push up the number of threads, i.e. the number of requests that Scrutiny sends at once, and this will significantly speed up your scan. If you see many timeouts or other bad links in your results, and the links work fine in a browser, this could be a sign that the server didn't cope with the number of requests, or of some other kind of bottleneck between you and the server. You should try backing this slider down a little before trying again. If any of your links do necessarily take a while to respond, you can increase the timeout interval to, say, a minute or 90 seconds. In extreme cases, it's possible to introduce a small delay between requests. If you have a large number of spurious results, then you may need to ignore query strings. If your site uses the query string part of a URL to identify the page that's being requested, or something important like the language, then it's very important to leave this switched off. But if your site uses the query string for something less important, like a session ID, then you should check this box. It can also help to ignore multiple similar pages, such as a message board. In some cases, this setting can prevent scrutiny from going into an infinite loop. If there's a particular area of your site that you want to exclude, or maybe you're interested in only scanning a particular part of the site, then you can set up an only follow or a do not follow rule. So, if your scan is taking longer than it should, and you suspect that you may need to alter your settings, how do you find out what's wrong? Simple. Just pause the scan. You'll be able to browse the results so far, and if you can see something wrong, you can use the previous button to get back to the settings screen and then try a new scan. If anything doesn't appear as expected, don't be afraid to call support. We'll be pleased to help. Thanks for your interest in scrutiny.